Is Pearl dead? No, but it has declined a lot. It is very much alive, though. Pearl is still deeply embedded in huge, elaborate corporate systems that will practically never go away. A lot of people out there still love using Pearl and even prefer it to Python. Pearl's great because it's great for processing text. It's basically a super overpowered bash replacement, and that's kind of what it was intended to be. Um, it allows for creating quick, compact solutions, has a lot of shortcuts and neat, flexible syntax, and it has loads of packages on CPAN. There's also a huge community with lots of support that's basically been around for a ridiculous number of years. Perl is just like a really slick language with just a lot of really neat shortcuts and uh, you know compact syntax. It makes it cryptic for a lot of people. A lot of people don't like that, but um, for, for people who understand it and know all the tricks, it's actually really convenient and nice. Perl's criticized because it's easy to write messy, hard to maintain code, which is, you know, kind of bad for large organizations who need a team of people to be able to swap in and swap out and, you know, to be able to hand off a project to another person or another team easily. So, you know, for places that are hiring and firing, they want to have uh, easier to maintain code. So, uh, yeah, it's also it's criticized because the syntax can be considered hard to learn. And uh, there are many ways to do the same thing which is uh, different from Python, where there's one correct way to do the same thing, which is kind of why Python's replacing Perl in a lot of instances. So, the Perl killer. Is it Ruby, PHP, Python? Well, Python's the real Perl killer. Now, PHP replaced it for web CGI use for the most part, but uh, yeah, Python was the real killer. Python killed it for automation and systems administration and, and a lot of stuff like that. Now, uh, Ruby probably did some damage way back when Ruby was really popular. Um, Ruby's even kind of declining a little bit now. It was really popular back when Ruby on Rails was a, a big thing. Not that that's disappeared or anything, but um, yeah, it, it was kind of taking the spotlight for a little bit there, but I don't think that's really what killed Perl or, or really was a real threat to Perl. Um, so neither PHP or Ruby were the real threats to Perl. Python is the real Perl killer. So. Python was seen as better because it's simple, easy to read syntax. Um, it basically has forced neatness, you know, like indentation and no curly brackets, stuff like that. Um, there's, it's seen as having one way to do every task most of the time. Not always. There are some cases where there's more than one way to do the same task. And in some of these instances, it's really kind of goes against what Python's supposed to be about. Anyways, um, it's easy to learn, and I have to agree with that one. Probably easier to learn all the Python syntax than with Perl. So, uh, you know, just just something to keep in mind. Um, I, I honestly, I still think Perl is totally fine if you wanted to start with it. Not as uh, popular of a language if you're looking for a career, but uh, yeah, just something to consider. Um, it became Python became very pop, a very popular Perl replacement at a large number of organizations. And basically, if you were to, at a lot of places um, where it would have been okay to write a Perl script in the past, if you were to do that now, it would be kind of frowned upon, and people would be wondering what's wrong with you. You're kind of just expected to use Python rather than Perl. Um, yeah, and, and even if you use some other alternative language instead of Python, using Perl is, is just kind of really frowned upon at a lot of places, just strangely. But, um, but yeah, so it's, uh, you know, if you're looking at something that's going to serve you well in a lot of different companies, probably Python's the better choice. Um, so Python became very popular for data science, data engineering, AI, and machine learning. So, you know, if you're into any, in any of those fields, it's a really, really popular language to, to work with and probably a better choice than Perl. Although uh, Perl's, I, I kind of prefer Perl a little bit more, but Python kind of took over in that area. Now, um, it's the language of choice for automating things. You can, you can still use Perl to automate things and it's still as good or better, but Python's just kind of taken that role. It's the first language that people recommend for automation when people are newly getting into learning how to automate things and to write code, um, you know, automate parts of their job. Python is the first thing that's recommended, first thing that pops into people's heads. So it's, it's kind of taking away, you know, what, what Perl could have done in the past. And that's, that's about it. 
So, um, you know, give me a thumbs up, uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell icon, and uh, more importantly, leave a comment down below. If you have an opinion on Perl, Python, or any other language, or anything at all you want to say, just leave a comment down below. If I'm wrong about anything, or you disagree with anything, we also want to hear about it. Definitely leave a comment down below. We want to hear everybody's opinion. So, yeah, obviously commenting is the most important thing you can do above, you know, subscribing or anything else. Uh, as always, hopefully you enjoyed watching this, and we'll see you guys on the next video.